Welcome to It's Okay to Be Smart. I'm Dr. Joe Hansen. For bees and flower blossoms, springtime is all about two things, feeding and fertilizing. See, the flowers want to pass their genes on to the next generation, and the bees need to eat so that they can do the same, so they use a little teamwork. But how do bees find flowers, and how do flowers find bees? What does a bee see when they see one of these? For millions of years, plants have evolved to depend on insects and other pollinators to carry their genes on to the next generation. And flowers are like a big neon sign they used to say, land here. In return for getting a helping hand in making baby plants, most flowers offer up a tasty treat in the form of nectar. It's like a dinner date, only you eat afterwards. Biologists call this type of arrangement mutualism. The flower gets to spread its genes, and the worker bee gets a sugary drink and packs her knees with golden, protein-rich pollen to take back to the thousands of hungry mouths back at the hive. Everybody gets what they want. See, flowers sure look pretty to us, but bees see them in a completely different light. Literally. Not only do they see the world through these compound eyes made of thousands of individual pixels, they see a world bathed in ultraviolet, way beyond what our eyes can see. We see this, and they see this. See, special pigments absorb the UV light, and they paint this big bullseye in the center of the flower, guiding the bee to the tasty nectar, and of course, that sweet, sweet pollination. Now, the relationship between flowers and bees goes way beyond the visual. Scientists from the University of Bristol recently discovered that bees can sense a flower's electric field. Just like when you run across a carpet in your socks, bees build up a positive charge as they buzz through the air, and flowers are slightly negative. This helps pollen jump from the flower onto the bee like electric Velcro. And it also helps the bee figure out if another worker has already visited that flower and slurped up all the sweet goodness. Now, nobody knows quite how the bees sense that electric charge, but their fuzzy little bodies might be buzzing like your hair when you rub a balloon across it. Now, evolution's been playing matchmaker between bees and flowers for millions of years, resulting in one of nature's closest relationships. So next time you see a bee buzzing around the garden on a warm spring afternoon, imagine how their world looks, and think about how much of nature remains invisible unless you see it through the right pair of eyes. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment and let us know if you have a question. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, stay curious and stop to smell the flowers.